Welcome back to the Edgewater Race Report. On this week's show, we are looking back at a perfect weekend of incredible action on the track. And we're also getting fired up for the fireworks that are about to happen ahead of us. As always, I am Rick Vickery, joined by uh, our main man in charge, our, our George Washington, if you will. Mr. Rob Wiley, welcome back to the Edgewater Race Report. Well, thank you for having me, Rick. It's good to be back and good talking about the racetrack. I said a, a big weekend as we celebrate Independence Day weekend. We have got a lot of a lot of racing, a lot to look forward uh, happening at Edgewater. Hey, we're, we're gonna we're gonna kind of wrap up what was a uh, man a, a crazy weekend or not weekend, but a month of action on the track June. And, and man, we we really put a nice little bow on it this past weekend. We had. Uh, essentially three events in two days this past weekend right it was uh it was really packed on friday long day from uh from start to finish but it was it was a good day uh early today we had the the great amc day which is the first time at edgewater and uh all things considered it was a, a good turnout a lot of spectators and it was a good day and a, a great base to build on uh, it's good to see those cars you don't get to see very often yeah you know here on the show what we're gonna we're gonna show some of the footage from that day and you know when I, I got there a little bit later as you know gates were open at nine the runs were were well underway uh but i was blown away you know just making the rounds on the ground so turn out the swap meet and some of the beautiful rides there for the car show yeah some cool stuff really neat cars uh love to see them come down on a regular basis for our muscle car sunday and do some stuff like that because you just don't get to see uh all the amc all the amx's and all that stuff it's uh neat and different and interesting a little hodgepodge of uh the way amc used to be a little hodgepodge of a motor from this place and other parts from that place and put them all together and uh make a really cool car very nice it is it is just said you know it's a little bit of a different event but it's about growing the and bringing connecting those worlds together you know sure. helping grow their event cars. we were talking a little bit before the record uh you know i asked you you know this was a group from the outside coming in here sponsoring the, the great AMC day uh, and also working with a number of out, you know, another group of party sponsors there. Uh, and I asked you, you know, how, how were they received? You know, what did they think of Edgewater their first time being here? And, and you said you loved, they loved it. Yeah. Everybody loved it. a lot of first time uh, people coming to the racetrack. A lot of spectators have never been before. And they just love the way the, the, the size of the pits, uh, of course, all of our trees, which is kind of unique to uh, racetracks and just, just the way everything flows through the track and just a really good place to have the event. Great shade for, uh, for the car show, for the, for the uh, swap meet and all that. It was a uh, very, very good environment for them. They're very happy. Now, how was, you know, this is a little bit different and a little risque, you know, you know, looking to try to draw that audience, something outside of the norm. What was kind of the thought, maybe some reservations and then on, on the backside, the reception feeling to running on a, a weekday morning into the afternoon like that. You know, it worked out really well with their first time. They didn't want to try to tie up, um, um, you know, weekend date. And so we decided to do it on a Friday early, uh, makes it easy uh, with, with workers and things like that. And we just roll into uh, tune in tests on Friday night. So it, it worked out well for them. Good first start. And maybe we'll do it on a Sunday next year. Very nice. I was going to say, you know, and I know, you know, talk to some people there. Uh, they were pitching, you know, maybe, maybe a Sunday there, but I, I like the aggressive approach. It is something different. And as long as that commitment is there and, and people know, okay, this is going to happen. Now we know what it is. We can look forward to those Fridays and you kind of grow from that. Right. Exactly. Well, it is good. Uh, so, you know, congratulations to that crew. Uh, I know we loved having them at Edgewater. Uh, the action that we did have on the track there was incredible. Again, the car show, the swap meet, the spectators. I got there probably around one thirty-two. It was blown away. Like, oh wow, you know, look at the turnout already. It was it was great. Uh, Damian Terrell, the guy that the the uh, the force behind the event, uh, been working on it for a while and did a great job. Had a lot of really good sponsors, and it went went very well. That, that is cool. Now, now, Rob, you a little bit of a teaser there. You said, you know, we started that early, and then we burned it right into the uh, Friday night tune and test. You want to talk about a great turnout oh, yeah. uh, for, for uh, on the track. 
Uh, a lot of a lot of turnout, great spectators. We had well over a hundred uh, hundred cars. Un- unfortunately, we had a couple of oil downs. We had a shut the one down the one lane down at around nine o'clock, and then we had uh, some synthetic transmission on the other one. It took us about an hour to clean up, but uh, everybody had a lot of hits on the track, and everybody was left happy, and that's what's important. I was gonna say it was one of those evenings. I mean, it, the weather was perfect. Everyone was running great. Uh, we were just rolling through, no pun intended there, uh, round after round. And it seems when it when it catches you, we lost the tower side there with that spill. And it wasn't too long after that we had to pause for a cleanup there on, on the pit side. Oh, no, come on. It, we, were, we were right there on that home stretch. But wait, but we, like you said, plenty of runs to get in. We got it up to 1030. Uh, I think everybody was satisfied. It's some great runs there. And, of course, uh, we're going to be back at it this Friday. So we got July 1st. I'm going to flip the calendar to get my dates right here uh, for the yeah, Tuna Test, looking for another great turnout. But, hey, you know, the, we had the great AMC Day Tuna Test on Friday, and that just led the way into Saturday. Straight Axel Mafia and Bracken action back at it. Always love seeing those cars. There was a very good turnout with them. Great bracket race. Uh, everything went real smoothly. We started our uh, open time runs at, uh, at 1 o'clock. I'm sorry, at 2 o'clock, and that worked out really well, very very little issues there. And I'd say, how was, how was it received? That little bit of that, that shake up, maybe for those that aren't familiar that missed last yeah, weekend, was, go ahead and read. Any, any, anytime you do something new, there's always a hiccup and so, hiccup here and there, but uh, everybody was happy with it. It worked out real well. And we got done on time. And fortunately we got done before the rain came in. So I think if we hadn't uh, instituted that uh, on Saturday, we'd uh, the end of the race would have got rained on and, uh, Guys hate uh, being forced to chop up the money. They'd rather uh, rather try to win the win the two thousand and whatever the payouts are on for uh, on the way down, and uh, rather than sharing that. Well, yeah, yeah, I always want to run to the finish. I mean, that's the way it's going to be. Uh, for those that maybe missed last weekend, going to be you know coming out or future you know for future races there with the brackets with the, the difference in the time runs. Go ahead and re-explain that again, just briefly, well, so everyone. What we're doing there's a lot of a lot of people that really uh, that, that two time runs is very important to them, and then there are some racers, especially a lot of your super pro racers, that uh, they know what their car is going to run. Uh, and they need one time run to see where it's at. And they look at it as one less time run each time. That's less wear and tear on, on their engine and their car. And just it, it saves money in, in the end by having, you know, they can get more use out of the engine before they have to freshen it back up. And, uh, you know, with uh, with fuel prices being what they are, everybody's trying to save a buck. And so it worked out really well for the, the people that had to get the two time runs and those that uh, didn't need to do it. So gave that that option and it worked out really well. So essentially out there again for you guys, it, there is a, a, a brief opening when, when we get running before the races. It gives you a half hour or so to get in there to get an open run, get that time running, then official time running, then into the racing action. So we're going to go with that rolling forward. Like you said, tweaking it, it just a little issues here, but it saved it seemingly saved the day today on Saturday. We are talking about those uh, those bracket racers and they are hungry for those points as each and every week we go ahead and we recognize those standouts from the past weekend. So Rob, let's go ahead and head on into the winner circle. Celebrating this week's champions, welcome to the winner circle. Winners this week. I'm going to start with Super Pro. And work our way from there. How would we do on the Super Pro 100? Are we getting closer? We're we're getting closer. We're going to make it one of these weeks, guys. And remember, we got a hundred cars. We up the guaranteed payout to twenty five hundred on the top, and we're going to pay down another round on the bottom. So uh, make those phone calls, get everybody to come in, and let's uh, let's get up over a hundred and keep paying that out each week. All right, who brought it home in the Super Pro? All right, a runner up on Saturday in Super Pro was Mr. Dave Ziegler, and the big win goes to Steve Hedger Jr., taking that 2000 home in Super Pro. Very nice. Moving on to Pro. Second place runner-up, Mr. Chris B., and the big winner, Mr. J.C. Spivey. On the Sportsman, held Brian away from that winner circle. Brian Henderson comes in second. And the wind goes to Rodney Johnson. Hey, that, that's all right. You know, Hendricks, he, he, he really took home a big check on uh, on Friday with the great Yeah, Brian's always, uh, he's always there for all the special events. And uh, 
likes to go in and uh, and beat some people up a little bit. A very good racer, and uh, glad, glad that we can call him our own here. In Junior Dragster, taking runner-up, Mr. Tanner Martin, and the big win goes to Haley Robbins. Oh, Here that is you. awesome. Congre congratulations to uh, both yeah. of those young drivers. There. Yeah, good to see that for her. And in bikes, runner-up goes Mr. Ray Pappas. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Pappas. Pappas. Was right. Really was Pappas. And the big win goes to Johnny Ard. And our special show of the night with a straight axle mafia. And our runner-up. From Brooks, Kentucky, Mr. Bill Lyle. And coming from Broadhead, Kentucky, the big winner, Mr. Wayne Burton. That, that is awesome. Uh, always a treat to have the straight action mafia there. I mean, such a draw with the fans. Yeah, we got them one more time this year, and uh, we'll finish up strong. Those guys love to come and race at, at Edgewater, and it's it's always it's always fun putting them in and fitting them into our program. Now, as we, as we were looking at the, the bracket action there, uh, another thing really jumps out to me. Uh, each and every week now it doesn't seem we're missing them we're getting the bikes in there and they are also yeah. growing in numbers yeah it's helping to have that uh that guaranteed payout we got more guys coming down and then of course you got to remember here in a couple of weeks we got the big nhdro race which is all bikes all weekend long and we'll have a bunch of really cool bikes it'll be a good time and a, and a different show for our spectators and and uh Hopefully we get a lot of fans in there and make it a big success. That, that's coming at you, coming up on the calendar here, July 14th, 15th, 16th, and 17th. Yep, yep. Uh, Thursday night will be tune and test uh, for that, and then uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday is NHDRO. Ooh, they're going to be absolutely getting after it, running hard. Uh, so, again, so let's let's shift some gears here. Let, let's get ready for some some fireworks, baby, oh, on, right. the, on the track. Oh, it's my weekend. Fourth of July weekend coming up here, getting it going. I'm gonna guess here, you know, looking looking at the forecast. Hey, it, it was a little fingers crossed the root of weakness. Looking beautiful here. Looks like it has moved out. It's gonna it's gonna work with us. So hey, you gotta believe Friday night is gonna be a frenzy to get things going with the tuning test. Friday night is gonna be absolutely beautiful. We're gonna have a, a huge uh, holiday tuning test. Gates open again at 5 o'clock. Track goes hot at 5.30. We race till around 10.30. If we get tons and tons of turnout, we'll race till 11. Sometimes we go a little bit later in that. But we try to be neighborly with uh, with all the, the families around uh, that live around the area. We don't want to make everybody mad on Friday. You know, we got the whole weekend to go. So uh, two big days of action coming up here. We, we're we're going to get after it on, on Saturday and Sunday. It, it, just like a holiday, you want to be pampered, you want to be taken care of. We're going to give you a race more for less coming yes. up on the second and third. Yeah, we're going to have nice payouts and don't have to put a lot of money out of your pocket. Uh, everybody's feeling the uh, $6 a gallon diesel uh, pinch. Uh, so we're going with a little bit uh, lower cost, lower entry race. So everybody can have fun and, and race for two days. Our, uh, our gates open at 9 a.m. We're going to start time runs at 10. And what we're going to do is we're going to get those open 10 runs till 1045. We're going to close the back of lanes out at 1045 and then finish things out. And then when that's done, we're going to roll right into our time runs. Uh, and on Saturday, hopefully we can move the program along. along. We expect a lot of cars because everybody wants to do show, a shootout on Saturday night. So if we can get things done. Get, get the program rolling through. We can have our shootout on uh, on Saturday night, and everybody will have fun and time permitting. Uh, just have a great time. I, I like the sound of that Saturday night shootout. Hey, so get the program going early. We got we got the uh, bracket afternoon and the, the race more for less going on. Going into the shootout, you don't need to go see fireworks. It'll happen on the track for you there yes, Saturday right. night. Uh, then of course. Back at it on Sunday, correct? Gates at 9 o'clock again? Yeah, same thing on Sunday. We've got uh, gates open at 9. Then we'll do our uh, – um, it'll be, I think, 11 – 9 o'clock, I believe. It's 11 o'clock, uh, uh, new entry time runs. And then we're going to roll right into eliminations. That, that is awesome. What a, what a way to kick off July. Uh, and, uh, Rob, before we close out this week's episode, you know, you already mentioned that, you know, we got the bikes highlighted coming up. Real quick, I'll throw out some of the, these major events for you. You can pl you can plug them a little bit here. Things that we're looking at for in the month of July, uh, of course, this weekend, Independence Day weekend, we're running the first, second, and third uh, race more for less tune and test. Then we're gearing up next weekend, coming back at you on the eighth Friday, the eighth since the Street Nights is back. Oh, yeah. 
Prep Cincy Street Nights is back, and uh, Ricky says we're going to have the racetrack on kill. Um, a lot of the uh, the Pro Mod guys uh, want to have the groove a little bit bigger, so we are gluing out to the wall. We're gluing to the center lane. Uh, want these guys getting down the track, and I, I want to see some records broken. You know, we had records broken the last time we had them in here uh, two months ago, and we're going to come back and hopefully beat that 375. And and uh, I'd like to see some 350s. I just would love to see it. Race Edgewater is one of those tracks that can handle that, so we just got to got to make it happen. But very, very nice. Uh, again, we did we did mention the bikes coming at you July 14th yeah. through 17th. Uh, the 23rd, we have got the UMTR back. Yep. Uh, it looks like also coming up at, towards the end of the month, we have got the uh, the Midwest Pro Stock Association. Yeah, that's going to be great. Um, I'm, I'm trying to get um, eight of them to come. If they can get eight cars together, uh, they're going to bring eight, but we'll get at least six. And I know um, I'm going to do a little match race. My brother's got his mountain motor pro stock back together. So they're going to try to do a little uh, eighth mile match race with him. And uh, don't know if the uh, NHRA pro stock will be back together, but it'd be nice to see those them race side by side. So it'll be fun. We'll have a lot of good time. And everybody loves to see the nostalgia pro stocks. And uh, Bob Lydon car is going to be there. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a blast. We've not had had them at the racetrack. And I think we're going to get a huge crowd and big, big interest in this one. That is awesome. Yeah, a, a super stack July coming at you. Just a reminder out there for everyone to keep up with everything happening at the track. Two major ways uh, to keep following there. Well, three, absolutely, because you're doing one of them right now. You're watching Rob and I here on YouTube on the Edgewater Race Report. Uh, but on the daily, be sure to be checking out Facebook.com backslash Edgewater Race or for a complete list of events that we've had scheduled throughout the year. Just go to EdgewaterRace.com. Rob. Now, I'm ready for July. I'm ready for some fireworks and fun at the track. Before we get out of there, is there anything like to add this week? I'm ready for some dry weather. I mean, if we, <laughs> hopefully we're going to get lucky this weekend. Uh, every time I doesn't, every time I look at the weather, every stupid app I look at, it all changes. Uh, right now, I just looked at it, and it looks good for both days. So uh, I'm excited for that. And, you know, we, we could use a little uh, a drought for once uh, – uh, here in Cincinnati, it rained all the second half of last season. It's been raining all this year. So let's uh, let's get some racing in and uh, pray for some cool weather in July and dry weather and enjoy ourselves and, and have some great racing. Well, well said, sir. Well, for, for myself, Brick Vickery, again, for Rob Wiley, everybody, thank you for joining us. Edgewater Race Report. We'll see you at the track. Yep. We'll see you Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Come on down. <laughs>